Let's look at the solution to our performance versus number of cores quiz. If chip power is 100 watts, and we can operate one core, if that's the only one on the chip, at 5 gigahertz, how many gigahertz do we get for two cores? And the answer is that each of the two cores now gets 50 watts. That's half the power. The frequency in that case is going to be the cubic root of that one half, or 0 0.8 times the original frequency. So we get 4 gigahertz here. The frequency with another doubling of the number of cores is that each gets half the power of these. So it's going to be 0 0.8 times this, which is going to be 3.2. Or we could do cubic root of one quarter of the original 5 gigahertz and get the same answer here. For execution time, we need to account for the change in frequency as well as the change in parallelism. So this is what we get. We get 100 seconds when we run all of these pieces at just one core at 5 gigahertz. If we ignore the frequency and have a two core chip, then what we get is that for 20% of the time, we get a parallelism of only one. With two cores, for the remaining 80% of the execution time, we now have a speed up of two. So that time is cut in half. So we get 0 0.6 times the original time if we ignore the frequency. So it would be 60 seconds without the change in frequency. Unfortunately, there is a change in frequency. 60 seconds at 5 gigahertz would translate so we get 60 seconds times 5 billion cycles per second is 75 seconds at 4 billion cycles per second. So the answer here is 75 seconds. We would get 60 if we operated at 5 gigahertz, but because we operated 4, we need 75. And then for a 4-core execution, we get that out of the 100 seconds, for 20 seconds we can't improve by running on more cores. For 30 seconds we get a speed up of 2 because we can use 2 cores. For 40 seconds the speed up is 3 because we can use 3 of the 4 cores. And finally, for 10 seconds we get a speed up of 4. Keep in mind that this is without the change in frequency. So what we get is 50.8 seconds and now we have to account for the change in frequency from 5 gigahertz to 3.2 gigahertz. So once we get the 50.8 seconds, that's without the change in frequency, and we get from 5 to 3.2. So when we compute the speed up relative to this because of a lower frequency, which is actually a slowdown, and we multiply that with this, we get 79.4, which is actually slower than a two-core execution. So as you can see, although the four-core execution gets some more parallelism exploited, it's not enough to make up for the loss in performance due to frequency change.